Hot Jams Radio, Paisan Gapitan, Hyper Active. That's the name of the show. Now I gotta tell you something. You think the show is called Hyperactive because your host is hyperactive, but that's not really the secret reason why the show is called Hyperactive. It's spelled H Y E P E R active. High per active. And what I mean by that is if you are actively involved in the Armenian community and doing good things for the Armenian community, it's a compliment if I call you hyperactive. Say that again, Armin. I said, there we go. That's what that's you're talking. I mean, that's what but technically I'm Italian. I'm, I, I call myself Armo Italian because I'm Armenian in, in my heart, even though my blood streams, you know, from Sicily. But I am also hyperactive. Most I, Armenians think we, we Italian. <laughs> <laughs> we but, think we from Sicily. Mm-hmm. But my point is, and just like our, our guest that's here today, our international rapping superstar, he is also hyperactive because the things he does is not just about serving himself and, and serving the, you know, the, the, the rap community. It's about serving the Armenian community. Ladies and gentlemen, superstar in the house. Armin, welcome back. My brother. Thank you for having me. Oh, man. Yeah. Now, now big congrats on your first debut Armenian performance. Yes. And what a performance it was at a sold-out stadium with 50 Cent 3.33 Amazing! Yeah, it was an amazing experience for sure. I just got back a few days ago. Mm -hmm. Still a little jet lag. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been to Armenia a few times, but this was my first, like, show. You know what I mean? And it couldn't have been, uh, you know, a better circumstance. Opening up for 50. Mm. First time, you know, Armenia had a concert like that. So it was just a great look for the for the country itself. Yeah. And then, you know, of course, it was a great look for me as well. They had me go on right before 50, and it was, yeah, the crowd was amazing. The love was crazy. I'm actually planning on going back, hopefully before the end of the summer, to do, like, my own solo show now. Oh. The love was so crazy. Bring high jams with you. Hey, let's go. Let's do it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we really have to, so. Uh, hold on. And uh, listen, take, take, take us there. You're backstage with 50. All right, or maybe even when you took the stage in the motherland, big huge appearance. What were you feeling? What what was going on inside you, man? Man, I was just super excited. You know, like when I got there, um, I like walked on stage and peeked from the side, and I saw the massive crowd already before anyone had gone on. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, this is gonna be amazing because I wasn't really sure. Like, you know, tickets are kind of expensive for Armenia. You know what I, I mean? I heard so they were pretty high I wasn't up there. Really sure, like, what's it gonna be? But it was a lot, a lot of people. I don't want to, you know, say the wrong number, but to me, it felt like easy fifteen thousand or more. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? So three thirty three went up. They, you know, they really known in in Yerevan. Oh yeah, they're so, big there. Yeah, uh, yeah they they huge. A lot of people knew their songs. It was amazing energy. And then when I went on, yeah, it was different, bro. Like, it was, for me, one of the most special performances for sure. That's awesome. Before- and then, of course, for 50, you know, I grew up on that G-Unit, Shady Aftermath era. So, <laughs> just to be there, to see 50 in Armenia. You know, I was chilling with, like, Tony Yeo and the guys from G-Unit the whole yeah. time. You know, 50 is a little different. He moves, like crazy security you can't really get close to him you know uh as he should he moves very militant but yeah it was was an amazing time for sure now before i forget uh in in honor of your event we have a little gift for you here uh just 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 lift that curtain off the armenian flag there and uh and if you would take this uh take this here and read it out loud what what it says on the on the glass this is crazy i appreciate this it says in celebration of armin Dedicated to the debut performance in Armenia with 50 Cent and 333, July 1st, 2022. And there's a plaque on the bottom there. Congratulations from your friends at High Jams Radio. Yeah, baby. I really appreciate this. Yeah, baby. We love you, brother. I I love you, too. I thank you so much. That means a lot. I definitely didn't expect this. Yeah, that's for you. And uh, we're so proud of you, man. We we really think it's a big deal. You know, a lot of people, oh, no, no, this is a huge deal. Huge deal. Nah, it's definitely a big deal. You know, like... To have a, 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 a big festival like that and bring like an international superstar to the motherland, like it's a big deal. It adds a lot of like, you know, tourism and just, you know, economic value to the country. Like these things are important, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So the group of people that put that together, I know they're already working on the next one with another like big superstar. And I think that's great for the country, you know what I mean? Like Absolutely. a lot of people from the diaspora, we try to do just different things to bring some type of economic value to Armenia. You know 100%. What I mean? so that's what it was really about. Yeah. Now, you Armenians are pretty, uh, you know, you're pretty smart and you're pretty driven. 
And, and I and I I'm, I'm you know I like to I this is one of the reasons I you know I married an Armenian and I've gotten to know the culture and and this is where high jams came from I love the culture but you have confirmed that with me is it true you have a doctorate in pharmacy yeah that's true what a lot of people don't know that what um, like I said earlier you know we was raised like any other you know Armenian kids like you have to go to uni- you know college you gotta be a doctor a lawyer and all that hold on hold on so, all you hoochie mamas y'all are happy you have no idea you singing a doctor song <laughs> there's actually a line in that song i say <laughs> that's so funny there's a line I'm sorry, in that man. song where i say doctorate degree you know um, a lot of people don't catch that but that's why i say it i said balling like we got a scholarship doctorate degree she just want to ride a scholars you know what i'm saying uh-huh. so, um, that's where that come from but yeah man i went to school i graduated from ucla and then while i was doing music and I was already known in like the Armenian community, but you know, it was still not going the way I wanted it. Yeah. And you know, I was just kind of taught to go to school and do that. So, yeah. you know, and school was kind of easy for me to be honest. Love that so, though, man. That's went amazing. To school did it's amazing. That. And then a few years, you know, one, but, but, after I graduated. I, 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 sorry to interrupt you, bro, nah, but ahead, seriously, man, you, you're playing it down like it's nothing. Like, uh, yeah, you know, I just took on a hobby. No, dude, you you got a doctorate <laughs> yeah, in pharmacy. Sure. Like, that is amazing. Call I, me Dr. Mean, baby. Come I'm, on. That's what's going on. I'm going to be calling you that forever, <laughs> Dr. Mean. I, you Seriously, people at home might, might not get it, but, like, that is such an accomplishment. I appreciate uh, that you. That is, I, I applaud you, man. That is big Thank time, you, big Thank time, you. big Thank time. You. Because you not only kicked it, and succeeded in your heart where your heart and your love is right but you backed yourself up with something amazing i mean dude you really deserve a lot of props for that I, I, yeah, most man, people are like I oh i love your rap song i'm telling you i love your 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 passion and your drive and all the things you chose i mean that's yeah. man yeah, i'm sorry man. man nah nah i appreciate I'm you sorry bro. yeah I, i'm not kissing your rap ass i'm kissing your doctor ass <laughs> either, one, either one works either one works for me <laughs> <laughs> all right uh so you speak armenian dutch and farsi uh yeah and english <laughs> well barely no i'm just kidding <laughs> so, uh, yeah. yep wow okay um so the hyperactive guy that you are because yes. you are hyperactive you're very involved yes, in the per your definition yes yeah for, for sure. my diff thank you um i love the open wound song right which was the uh, 1915 kind of awareness song and all that stuff yep all the atrocities and all the nonsense but I really, I have fallen in love with, since I know you were coming on, I've really been researching you and playing your music. I've fallen in love with We Are Still Here. Yeah, for sure. It's Me got a too. positive spin, but it's still strong and heartfelt. And Yeah, that's exactly what, you know, what it was meant to do. Like Open Wounds was kind of like a, you know, like a cultural classic. And we did the whole t-shirt thing and then it got, became this huge movement without really trying, you know what I mean? Like yeah. organically. And then we, you know, I always felt like, you know, that's a strong statement, but, you know, I want to switch it to some positive now. Like, yep. you know, we survived all that and we are still here. So really we started changing the t-shirts before I ever did a song. Yeah. And instead of it saying our wounds are still open 1915, we made another version saying we are still here in 1915. You know what I'm saying? I love it. And then, you know, I was talking to Sebu one day from Capital Cities uh, and we had never collaborated on a song and we know each other for years. Sure. And um, it was actually April of 2020. So it's weird because it happened the same year as the war without us knowing that the war is, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. about to happen. But it was during COVID. So, you know, the the marches were canceled and everything yep, was yep. canceled. So, you know, usually we really active during the month of April. So we were like, you got to do something that, you know what I mean, while we all quarantined during this month. And we just recorded that song and it, you know, came amazing. Together, came together amazing. We did a quick video for it. It was still the time where it, like video shoots was weird. People didn't want to work. Yeah. Like, you know, everyone was trying to mask up and try to stay. Take the mask off other. for the shot. Take the mask off for the you shot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we did that. <laughs> and uh and yeah, it's kinda like a, a, a sequel to open wounds in a way, but with a positive spin. We're gonna play that next. Let's stick go. around. Let's take a quick little break poo poo poo. When we come back, we are still here with Armin on High Jams Radio. <laughs> Who's ready for a nice, delicious...